So this is going to be a test with, uh, hey, we're going to do a one of these talks. I'm going to use the NVIDIA broadcast mode. This they have an NVIDIA GPU, and in theory, with this NVIDIA broadcast, they can use machine learning to try and remove the noise which from this. Although, given the way I talk, that might remove everything I say. So this, uh, this session is really about um, we're going to use the we're going to actually do the Apache quick start uh, where we're going to create some topics and we're going to do data gen. But instead of the quick start ksql slash uh, Kafka streams for Confluent, what we're going to do instead is we're going to route the data. Uh, we're just going to generate metrics with that. <clears throat> and then we're going to graph those metrics in a Grafana dashboard. <clears throat> so go to this GitHub repo. Um, this actually the top half of this repo is a way to bring up Kafka and um, Kafka and a metrics cluster. So this will bring up a full Kafka cluster, and then this command will bring up the monitoring cluster. If you go into the quick start, you'll actually see the part that we're going to talk about today. So we look in the control center. I just want to show what this is going to look like. Uh, this is going to be page views and users are the two topics we're creating. And then if you look at connect, and we go into the default connect setup, we can see we have the data gen. So they've got this weird thing where they have connect and they, so connect lets you connect inputs into Kafka and one of them is a fake data generator and that's what we're gonna use. Um, and uh, if we were to go, that's actually the same app. Why do I have it in here twice? Let's get rid of one, so we're good. All right, so the things that we're gonna have access to here, if we look at this, we're going to config. I, I like doing all this with REST endpoints because that's the way we would do it from an automation DevOps kind of thing. So I don't want to, these are all Docker containers, right? The previous talks were about how to build all these Docker containers out and deploy them. And that's what I just talked about. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to use the Confluence REST proxy as a web endpoint to configure topics into this uh, Kafka broker cluster. And then uh, we're going to use the data gen uh, connect connector. Uh, to generate test data and we can configure that by sending post commands through the data gen exposed endpoint and the way i set these clusters up if you run this um, these are all the ports that are actually exposed to localhost so you can actually see down into the control ports for all these from where you are in a real production system you wouldn't do that probably um, you would probably put a provisioning node out here somewhere uh, and do it. It's really up to you how you want to do that. Or you'd build a container that was pre-configured if you were like a highly paranoid place. So we're going to hit. So let me just show you how this works. Uh, if we if we go here, um, we, you can see that we actually have uh, three scripts. The first one creates topics. It just makes REST endpoint calls for the two topics that we're supporting, which are page views and users, which are straight from the quick start. Uh, and what these are going to do is actually configure these two topics based on these JSON config files. And I did that this way so that if you want to kind of build your own JSON config, uh, you're good to go. And also in the README, there's all the links to all the places I got this. So if you want to do add extra attributes to these JSON configs, you're good. So we're going to create the topics, uh, create these two topics. And then we're going to create the data generator connectors and the way these data generator connectors are built they run immediately after you build them so they'll start generating data and we can see how the connectors are configured here they're going to generate a lot of data this is the user one this this is the page view one and like i said we're just going to run curl commands against those endpoints now there's no security enabled in this environment so i don't have any credentials to worry about uh, and we'll come back later on localhost 8083 because that's actually where the actually we won't we're not going to use any of the ui there Instead, what we'll end up doing is we can go back to the control center, like I said, and we can see that this is data gen users uh, running on 8083. Okay, so this is the management console checking to see where that thing's at. Okay, so, uh, and then the third part of this is we're gonna run a third script that's basically gonna uh, enable this InfluxDB data source to the Grafana database, and then we're gonna load a Grafana. So each of these scripts, there's three scripts, does two, does two things. This one, actually uh, creates the topics on the REST proxy server. This one creates the data generators, which generate the test data. And this script creates the InfluxDB connection and the Grafana dashboard. And let me show you what that one looks like. So script three basically goes to the data sources 
and then it goes to the dashboards DB. So this creates the uh, this hooks up the influx DB data source, and this loads the can data dashboard that I did. And if you want, you can actually see that the data source definition is right here. This is exactly matches the quick start. And we're going to put it in the Telegraph database. So and we're going to get it from the Telegraph database. So when we did this here, right, that we had this Jalogia plugin that was generating gathering the JMX metrics, and then Telegraph would get that and put it in the Influx DB, and it put it in the Telegraph database. So that's what we're going to configure this one to. Uh, we're just going to run the third. And you know what? I'm, let me. I just show you. So like this is kind of pointless, but all right. So we just do bash one. Boom, bash two, boom, bash three, three, boom. Any of these can be rerun. They will not overwrite anything, but if you decided you wanted to tear down something and reconfigure it, you can still use those scripts. All right, so let's go to the Grafana dashboard for this. So we're just gonna connect on, so I just wanna show you one other thing here. So this is 8082. This is actually uh, the REST API endpoint. I just wanted to see what clusters are, what kind of things are out there. Uh, so this is the proxy endpoint for the uh, control node. Um, and then this is actually the control node. This is the Rust proxy endpoint. And then also there's an API available on the Grafana server on 3000. But if we just hit the 3000 endpoint directly, uh, we get this. Uh, yeah, you know what? Nope, we're gonna discard my changes. Okay, so if we were to come back here and discard my changes, um, if you run the script, you'll see this. What you'll see is a couple things here. Let's look at it real quick. We can look at the data sources. So we can see that we have an influx DB, right? And that's the one I loaded from the JSON file. Um, and we can see here that it's actually connected to Telegraph. If we go to the dashboard, so you can run your own queries, right? Like, so you can always come to explore, pick the influx DB. You could pick something like thread count. And then we could see uh thread count we're just going to pick the mean thread count so in here we got 90 threads right so but i built a dashboard for this so if we go to the dashboards we can see that we have simple topic metrics and that was actually the third the second call in the third script so if we look at the third script the first one creates the data source the next one creates the dashboard if we were to come over here we can click on this dashboard and we can see that the data generators are still running and the garbage collector is running. Super easy to go add your own. If you want to add another panel to this, <clears throat> um, basically you just click on, click on this uh, and you can add a new panel and then you can pick as many metrics as you want. So like in my case here, if I wanted to have two, like two metrics, um, for the two topics, I could, but I could actually have like three or four metrics or five or six. You just add more queries here and it'll blend it all together. So in this case, I'm just going to discard this one and I am going to get out of here and discard this. That's really all there is to it. So you're going to run the quick start, the top half of the quick start, but basically I wanted to show you how you could automate all of this. And so that's what we did here. I hope this is useful to you and I hope that this repository will provide you with good stuff for your own automation and doing Grafana metrics.